Aren't journalists supposed to be unbiased? You'll be shocked by what we found here. This is Yardine Frankel with Honest Reporting. First up, we have the Vulture Club. What is the Vulture Club? The Vulture Club is a closed Facebook group, members only. It's made up of journalists and human rights advocates, supposedly unbiased sources. But what do they do when they're out of public eye in their private group? They trash Israel. They spend their, all their time saying the Israeli government lies about everything. Supposedly unbiased sources, yet mixed in with the Associated Press and the Human Rights Watch, you have such admittedly virulently anti-Israel groups as the International Solidarity Movement. And behind closed doors in this private group, what are they saying? Well, the Washington Free Beacon got a glimpse of it. They're trashing Israel when Israel came out with a report that said there's no way the IDF could have killed Mohammed al dura And for more on that, you have to watch this video. But when the Israeli government came out with this report, this vulture club rejected it out of hand. And then they heaped abuse on Israel. One AP photojournalist even said, the IDF probably believes that the earth is flat. These are people who in public are supposedly unbiased. How can we take them seriously now that we know what they really feel about Israel? And if you think that's pretty bad, you have to watch this video that we got from our friends at The Commentator that shows Palestinians attacking an IDF patrol with firebombs. And who is right around all the Palestinians? Journalists. They're embedded right with them. They are willing human shields. How is the IDF supposed to respond? If they defend themselves, they're gonna shoot a journalist. And you know what would happen if a journalist got hurt by the IDF. What happens when a reporter stops reporting on the news and becomes part of the news? We can see clearly from this video whose side these journalists are on. Anti-Israel media bias is a huge threat to the state of Israel, but there's something that you can do about it. Click over here, sign up to get the honest reporting emails, either the daily or the weekly alerts. We'll show you what the problems are, but more importantly, what we can do together about it. We can make a real difference. For Honest Reporting, this is Yardine Frankel. Thank you.